Hey guys, this is Modic here and I'm happy to see that you guys are responding very well to the Asus Zenfone Max Pro content. I will be having a lot more videos up soon along with comparisons with the Realme 1 so subscribe and press the bell icon. In today's video we will be unrooting and relocking the bootloader on the Asus Zenfone Max Pro. So if you guys want to unroot your phone or make a full factory reset then this is the video that you should follow. It's an extension of my tutorial on how to unlock and root the Asus Zenfone Max Pro so Please watch that video first and in case you have any doubt then please read the description properly before asking questions because it will have most of your queries answered. So the first step is to remove root access from the Asus Zenfone Max Pro and that's a very easy job. Just go to the Magisk Manager app on your phone. Once you have opened the app you will see a big uninstall button. Click on it and select complete uninstall. Now wait for around 5 to 10 seconds. The app will uninstall itself and once it's done you can reboot your phone and your phone is now unrooted. If you have enabled camera to API it will still work after unrooting the phone and all of your payments app will also start working now. But in case your phone gets any new update again the camera to API will be disabled and you will have to root and unroot your phone again to get it back. The second step is to flash the stock recovery. For this you need to download the recovery image file. I'm linking the one that I used in the video's description. This file might change from time to time depending on the updates that this phone gets. So please consult a website like XDA Developers to download the stock recovery image file. Once you have the file, copy it into your ADB folder. If you don't have ADB drivers then I'll have a link to that in the description box too. So now boot your phone into fast boot mode by holding the power and the volume up button. Connect it to your PC, press shift and then right click and select open powershell window here. Now write fast boot flash recovery the recovery file name .img and press enter. Now you can reboot your phone. This might enable OTA updates on your phone but I'm not 100% sure about it. Now the final step is to lock the bootloader on the Asus Zenfone Max Pro. This will completely wipe your phone so please only do it if you want to claim warranty on your phone. Otherwise I wouldn't recommend doing this step. Camera to API will also not work after relocking the bootloader. For relocking, you need to download this relog.rar file. Extract it and you will get two files. You need to copy these two files to the unlock folder. You must have downloaded the unlock folder during bootloader unlocking process. Now connect your phone in the fast boot mode and run the relock command file. Your phone will reboot with a locked bootloader but then even then you will get this bootloader unlock warning. So to get rid of that finally connect your phone once again in fast boot mode. Download the complete firmware for the Asus Zenfone Max Pro. I am linking the latest one in the description but then again this will change from time to time so please check it at XDA developers. Once you have downloaded the firmware zip file, unzip it and select flash all command file. This will completely format your phone and it will bring it into the factory state. The bootloader warnings will go away and you can even check it in the fast boot mode. It will say that the bootloader is locked. So this is how you lock the bootloader on the Asus Zenfone Max Pro. I know that this is a very complicated process but that is how it is. Like I said, please please check the description box because all the links are given there. And remember you will lose camera to API functionality after locking the bootloader on your phone. So think about it before doing that. So that's all for this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you have any questions like I said please let me know in the comments. I'll be making more videos about this phone so make sure that you subscribe and press the bell icon. And also please follow me on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram because if there is any updates I will be posting it there or you can even check the post feature in the YouTube app. So make sure that you follow me on any one of these places so that you are regularly updated. Anyways, that's all for now. If you guys liked the video, please like it and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching and I'll be back in your notifications really, really soon.